Hey there, Virgo. Welcome. Oh my. Welcome to your channeled intuitive forecast. Let's fall out. From the Gasmic Tarot. General reading as we focus and expand on the energies for the end of October, beginning of November 2021. Just throwing out some foundational cards so that we can get started. Fabulous. Okay. So, general reading. Take what resonates. Leave the rest for everyone else. Not all the messages are going to be for you in this general reading. But if it does resonate, if you want to claim the reading, just say hey and tell me where you're watching from. I always get a kick out of that. Thanks uh, for leaving your comment below. Okay. So, in the words of my favorite... Um, chef let's get started shall we hey thanks again for likes and clicking that little subscribe button to support the channel i really appreciate you all right king of water this is about you're moving into a a more diplomatic phase of your existence um generosity generosity from the heart maybe saying hello to a senior in the morning you might be the only person they talk to that day but being fair, being gentle, being a good listener, being the peacemaker and mediator uh, is really going to help you move in a direction that you're really going to enjoy. You've got this, um, the fool, all right? And the fool is about new beginnings, right? It's about taking that leap of faith. In the words of Patrick Overton, or paraphrasing, as you walk to the edge, you take that first step uh, where there is no more light, and you'll either be taught how to fly or you'll, you'll hit solid ground. But this is about that renewed enthusiasm for life. This is about the new chapter in your life, the new beginning, spiritual growth. And it's, um, it's about just kind of knowing in your gut as you move forward with enthusiasm to the next thing. So new opportunities certainly for you. And then you've got the two of fire. The two of fire is about like planning for the future, mapping your progress. So making plans and moving forward and trusting in the unknown, taking that leap of faith. There's the fool. And here it is um, solidified, amplified. Um, we're, we're able to, you know, reinforce that energy. Let's take a look really quick at some, some clarifying cards. Thanks, Spirit. Wow. All right. Fine. There's the fool again. This is probably why you dumped all these cards at me. Thank you so much. All right. So, what do we have here? I see you finally letting go of disappointment, some struggle that you've had, some kind of competition, lack of agreement with somebody that's kind of give, left a bad taste in your mouth. Um, and it was an emotional upset, but that wiping away the, the cobwebs, that illusion of, oh, making, you know, don't get mad. A mountain out of a molehill is what they're showing me. So uh, not everybody puts the same importance on things that we do emotionally. So um, letting go of whatever that idea is of, of that situation and moving forward in a positive direction. You've been very patient, and your patience is paying off. I have the... Um, the Eight of Rods, along with the Fool. We're having some work done on the house today. <laughs> so we've got a lot of noise. I apologize. But opportunities, positive news. Um, we have this opportunity to take and move forward in a direction that's going to be beneficial for you. All right. Walking through that door will make things materialize so giving you that opportunity we've got the queen of pentacles which is about 
um, fi- um, entrepreneurship and uh, financial increase. Again, the full taking that leap of faith and following your heart. Follow your heart and all you do, guys, and the money will follow you. Beautiful reading. I'm going to leave it at that. Have a delicious end of October, beginning of November, and the transition. Mercury retrograde is over. You're moving forward. Lovely. Take care and have a delicious rest of your day.